Hiya folks, a little update vlog this one on this Sunday, which also means it's Shout Out Sunday. See you in a minute. Well, as you know, we've had terrible heat wave here in the UK, very much like 1976. I remember that one as well. That was a very, very long period of a uh, hot summer. We had hot, dry summer, which yesterday has been broken with a terrific downpour, wind and torrential rain, stuff like that here in the UK. So it's really flipped the other way now, but it's actually brought the, the temperature down, but that's another story anyway. Well, this is Shout Out Sunday. So at the end of the video, obviously we're going to be, uh, be doing our few shout outs. I'll just give you a little rundown as to what I've been up to. I've been reassembling the engine here, as you can see, the Reliant Regal, uh, which is a Robin engine in this one now. So let's just show you how far I got with this. I haven't shown this in the series of Reliant videos, because otherwise you, you'll have too many sort of, this isn't the how-to, how to reassemble an engine base, it's how I'm restoring my Reliant Regal. So let's show you what I've done here so far. Well, as you can probably see now, I've got the pistons installed. Let me just turn them around for you. Look, pistons are going up and down there, as you can probably see. So they're all installed into the nice freshly honed bores. The camshaft and the oil pump has also been installed there. I've had to put that on there just so I can turn the crank over. And uh, someone quite rightly said that when you measure the uh, piston rings and put them in the bore, I should have known that. I could have just put the piston in. I've done it before with other engines and push it down about an inch and then you've got the bore perfectly right. I said do it with a socket. That's only one way. There's many ways to do it. You can do it with a uh, a screwdriver if you want to just go around with that, it doesn't really matter, but basically all it's about is getting the right gap between the ends of the uh, piston rings as I showed in the last video on the restoration. One other thing, I didn't have one of those tools where it clamps around the piston to push it in, so all I used <clears throat> was I put that around the actual piston itself, around where the rings were, just tightened it up, the, the uh, Jubilee clip there, and then laid the piston in and then basically that compresses all the rings and I just tapped the piston through with a wooden mallet hammer and that inserted the uh, piston and the rings into the into the bore. So I use that Jubilee clip. You can buy a special tool. I didn't have one available. I needed to do the job. That was a way of me getting over the problem. So I'm at the stage now of sort of refurbishing a few bits and pieces. This is the front bracket here. I've got a new O-ring to go into there and uh, I'm going to be putting the old timing chain back on. It doesn't look to appear to be any uh, undue wear on it at all. So again, I'm not just throwing money at this. Just because you strip an engine down doesn't mean you have to renew everything. Things like gaskets and seals, yes, it's advisable. This is a mechanical piece which is designed to last thousands and thousands of miles. It's only done very low mileage anyway, so exchanging it for the sake of exchanging it is false economy in my eyes anyway. So these have got to go back on. I've been spraying things like these old brackets here, for example. I think I've got to change the bracket the engine bracket at the rear of the engine because as you probably know I'm actually putting the other gearbox on this engine so that means that the things could be in the wrong place I'm not too sure so I don't know if someone left me a comment or not about the front bracket might need changes well I don't know why they said that I might be wrong it might have been the back bracket they was talking about so if you've got a feeling that I might need to change this front bracket let me know because I've actually sandblasted this and painted this so this is off of the uh, the 750 engine which it come from I don't think it's this one I think it is the rear one but uh yeah, so I've got the cylinder head to refurbish. I'm going to have a look at the fuel pump and that. Uh, I've got the sump to go back on and the rocker cover uh, assembly to clean up and sort out. So I've also ordered a lower uh, bottom end gasket set as well. So um, I'm waiting for that to come now. I've only ordered that yesterday. I've got the cylinder head to strip down. I don't need to have the valve seats done in this. This has got uh, the hard metal insert valves in, uh, valve seats in this one. So that's going to be just basically a clean up. And basically, we're, we're, we should hopefully then have the engine near enough to the point where it can actually all go back together. So, one other thing, <clears throat> on the uh, cylinder head studs, I did mention in the last video that I'll probably be taking them out. Um, I've had someone who's uh, messaged me, said if you don't really need to take them out, don't take them out. There can be a lot of uh, hassle with uh, the corrosion that can go around these, can end up stripping threads and stuff, and I don't want to go down that road. The base of the engine, actually, to be honest with you, looks fine. So there's a good chance that I'm not going to need to take the studs out. I can do a, a, a basic level off across the uh, block with a, a straight edge. So it doesn't look like it was leaking. There was no signs of any leaking or whatever. There's no signs of any head leaking at all. So um, although I will be checking the head as well. So 
the chances are I may not take the studs out. Um, everything looks clean, even around the studs. Right, at the, I think someone was a bit concerned about there could be raised spots around there sort of thing. But again, everything looks to be okay there. And one thing I didn't realise, which someone did mention, that uh, the actual wet liners here actually sit proud by a very, very small amount as well. And uh, that's just something I, did, I wasn't aware of. So there we go, that's that. So that's still in, uh, a job in progress at the moment. And I'm also refurbishing things like engine case and stuff like that, as you can see there. This has been sandblasted, it's a timing uh, chest cover. And I've got a new seal to go in there as well when that arrives. But as you can see, this is the sort of thing that takes a little bit of time refurbishing all the uh, the, the metal parts and all that. So looking here, for example, I've got the uh, fuel pump. That's got to be sorted out. I don't think there's much you can do with that, but uh, I will have a look into that. There's the uh, thermostat housing. I might just do that in the same sort of engine enamel as I'm doing the timing chest cover there, as you can probably see there. It's uh, It gives a nice solid hard protection and uh, keeps it looking tidy without going all corrosive. So I'll probably end up doing that as well. Not much to do to the cylinder head. Obviously it's got to be stripped down. And it's actually got to be cleaned. I did start to soda blast this and that's the residue of the soda that you can see on there. But uh, that'll go into the um, parts washer and then strip down totally and all the components individually cleaned up as well. So that's still to be done. So I'm just going to pop inside now. Let's see what Sharon's up to. We've got to go back over to Sharon's brother's caravan again. Uh, sometime this morning I've got to do a couple of little repairs over there again so I'll see you in a minute one other thing I get messaged quite a lot is can I make stickers for people's lawnmowers well I know we'll only do these for myself but I mean I've been obviously doing quite a few lawnmowers where I've actually done the decals and I've got a few left over sort of thing but um, people have been sending me private messages and asking me if I can create them well, I've done a few I mean only the ones that I've actually used myself I don't know if you can actually see that there but uh, there's a, a white hater one that I've used on um, uh, a lawnmower. I had a couple left over because I printed a few out. And I've actually sent them off to a few people. I've got these Sovereign ones here. Which, again, these ain't representations of the original soft, uh, Sovereign ones. These are just ones I've created myself, basically. But they do tend to make the, uh, the mowers look a bit better. So obviously I can't give these away because as you can see, it takes a bit of time for me to actually weed them out. And then I've got to get a, what they call an application paper which is this sort of clear film because that is still on its original back in there as you can probably see so I have to get this clear film and peel some off to the length of the paper like that and then you have to lay it on the actual graphic in question flatten it down so it sticks with one of these scraper tools, very much like a filling tool, uh, a knife spreading tool you get for body filler, that sort of thing. But it's a little bit thicker. And then once I've done that, you just trim away the excess. And I'm only doing this one quick, but normally I try to keep all the lines square so that uh, when you come to apply it, at least you've got straight lines to work to. But obviously I'm just rushing through this one quickly. And that's basically it then. So that now is something I can stick in an envelope and all you would do then would be to peel the backing paper off, which is the white paper. The, the, the writing sticks to this new clear sheet that I've got on and you then apply the white clear sh uh, sheet onto your painted surface or window or glass or whatever, car sticker. And then you smooth it on and then you peel off the clear piece and that's how I actually do them graphics. So I mean ideally that's okay for sticker graphics and things like that which is sort of single colour, there's one there, there's another one there basically. That's the hater one as you can see, that's in white, that's why you can't see it on there. So I can do them, and then there's um, other ones where you've got dual colours, where I have to layer colours, that again takes longer for me to prepare. So I do if I want to do a run of them sort of thing. Uh, I can do them all in one go sort of thing, you know. Let me get rid of this. <clears throat> but then as I showed you in my last restoration video, I'm experimenting with these. Now this is what you call, um, water slide transfers and this is basically printed on a laser printer which I've got over there and depending on what type of laser printer water slide transfer you get this one's on a white background so because on a laser printer normally you can't print white ink so we're using the white parts of the image here for the actual white of the graphic or you can buy it on a clear transparent background but then you can't oh kids are coming in 
but then you can't print white obviously so that's okay for just letters and stuff like that or different colors but anything apart from white so that's something else which i could do and what i'm going to do because again you can't get these graphics anymore for this flame gun i may put these graphics on my website and sell them from the website which is retrorestore.com so keep looking there because i've got one set of stickers for the lawnmower stickers the trot of the uh, video lawnmower stickers on there at the moment i will start to put these other ones on there so you will be able to buy them anyway anyway that's that i'm going to see what the kids are up to right well as you can see the uh what's happened with this one this green one that's that one russell tagged us in oh right yeah 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 so more lawnmowers have been purchased as you can blink and see here there was 22 or someone did mention before how many was in the um poly tunnel well obviously that's uh, been far exceeded now so we we've lost count again but uh, this, this lot weren't here at that time but uh someone was having a yard sale the other day outside well in fact my next door neighbor and sharon said oh there's a lawnmower outside we didn't think anything of it time we got back gary had bought it for tenner this one down here it's got a load of holes in the deck apparently but uh this one here as you can see it's all down that one side there it's a very big lawnmower and it runs everything runs fine on it but uh whether or not it's repairing or whether or not we take the engine off it i'm not too sure yet it is a Brixton Stratton engine um i'm not sure that's, that's a different one though gary isn't it yeah yes yeah, it's, it's not this not the same car i'm not familiar with this one to be honest with you i know this chap is an american chap um I'm not actually familiar with this one, so I'll have to have a, a closer look at it, but uh, I would hope the fixings would be the same, that fix it to the actual deck. But failing that, I mean, it may be uh, worth recoverable, I don't know yet. But again, it's one of these large wheel ones at the back there, as you can probably see. And uh, it's self-drive as well, isn't it? Yeah, and just like a lot of the American ones, uh, they are self-drive mechanisms at the front of them, so this might have come over from the, the, the States, I'm not too sure. What's it actually called, do you know? Pol the sound of grass, though, it's a super cad so oh, super capacity that says doesn't it p-o-u-l-a-n pro Poolan pro never heard of it but as i say it's got a slightly different bricks and stratton layout on it but we'll have a look into that it's all there just a rotten deck <laughs> what do you think about it baby <laughs> mm -mm. hey what you got in your mouth it's <laughs> greasy greasy sweetie. oh sweetie where's harry inside inside what do you think about all these lawnmowers <laughs> whose are they <laughs> no, some of these are your dad's, all the ones at the front here are your dad's. I think I've got quite a lot of them ones down there, so. And we've got to fix them. Yeah? Okay. Alright, we're going to go. Say tell our subscribers. Bye-bye. Subscribe, isn't you? They're in there. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I just stopped, baby. Hey? Don't shout. I'm not shouting, honey bunch. So, yeah, here we are, down the Sharon's Brothers caravan again. It's a lot cooler today, a lot more, oh, say. Lot more manageable today in the caravan. Ice. As you probably know, in the summer, caravans can be very warm, and in the winter they can be very cold. So, we're just right at the moment, baby, aren't we? No, I'm cold. Oh, come on, shout. I told you that earlier. Right, we ain't got many shout-outs today, believe it or not, baby. Because they don't like us. They're not sharing. <laughs> they are? No, right, okay. I've had more shares, let's put it this way. But you mentioned something about giving away a T-shirt. How was you going to work this? They've got two months. I was going to write it down, but I can't actually see when I go on who shares. So you've got to write down who shares. Oh, so you create the system and I've got to do and all the groundwork, yeah? And put a tick by them who shares it the a most. Tick? Just so, like, so. How do you do that online, baby? No, on your sheet of paper. Oh, so I've got to write them all out as well. So I've got to monitor. Well, because I'm not into your account. I've got to monitor. Hold on a minute. I've got to monitor all my different routes of social media. All your viewers. No, that your right. loyal Facebook. viewers. No, you never mentioned loyal. You're throwing words in there, Those baby. Are loyal, They'll pull you up on it. They'll go and watch the original video, and that you said you was going to do this. You yeah. was going to sort all that, and now you're throwing it to me. I tried to look on to see who shared it, and I won't shut. Don't tell me. So. So yet again, what are you doing? Passing the buck. No, I'm not having it. I want them to. Uh, I want your system to tell them what you've planned for the highest t-shirt share in two months you just said that now i well, don't remember you saying months. that before. i did i said that last time two months right well we'll see then well, it's been a week now and i think i've had about five shares because there's more than five of you watching it and one of them yeah. five shares is moi just a little update on the i think i've thrown out how many videos this week hey moa man did you share don't know share mm. i don't know but i did you frame me now what was i going to say Oh, how many videos we pumped out this week? I think I put three videos out this week. We done that from from the last Sunday. 
I've done uh, my restoration video that went up. I've done an in between. Oh, I've done a trotter van video, and I think I didn't. Did I do an update vid? I've done a t-shirt vid on the other Ooh. channel. What? Oh. Yeah, we was up last night. We uh, Tracy's youngest baby uh, stayed over the night. Well, I say stayed over the night. One Tra of my beautiful grandchildren. One of our grandchildren. Beautiful and, uh, grandchildren. She said he goes down at about seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know, grandkids. Uh, they have got a routine when they're indoors. Mm. But anyway, went down about seven o'clock and about half past eleven. Hang on, there was no going down at seven o'clock with us. It was well gone seven when he went oh, down. I don't know that show. I can't. What was I doing? You were in a shower and all that. Anyway, half past eleven, he's up. He's awake. About half eight. In I our bedroom, in bed. the lights, light, yeah, the lights are all out, are they? Mm. And he starts crying. He did not stop crying and whinging until quarter past two in the morning. Look at me. We are Look totally in. knackered. And not only that, he decides at half past two or two o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the morning, whatever it was, the only way to pacify to stop him screaming was to let him watch his music videos. He likes the old 50s and 60s music. He likes ABBA. He likes ABBA. And we had to put that, and he stopped crying instantly. So then, cool, Sharon's dozing off to sleep. I'm staying awake because one of us has got to stay awake with him. And uh, he decides then that it's a good idea to start poking Granddaddy in the eye and slapping his head while he's watching telly. So I make him right. <laughs> then we tried it again. He, he dozed off about half past one quarter to two. He dozed just dozed off on there because he's in bed with us now. And as soon as you turn the lights off, he starts again. He wouldn't stop. We didn't put the music back on. We didn't stop till about quarter past two. Then we say we took him back to his mummy and daddy. Where he belongs. <laughs> Where he belongs. And, and, I, no, anyway. and I slept from then. Like a baby. To, to, like a baby, yeah. I've had the best night's sleep from, I, I say about quarter to three time I got off to sleep. From then till about nine, quarter past nine. Mm. Gone. I, I was like a comatose. I didn't hear a thing. I didn't wake sleep. up. I normally wake up a couple of times, go to the toilet in the night. That never happened. And I had the best night's, well, broken sleep <laughs> after that. Fantastic. And that just tells us that... What? I don't know. Not to babysit through the night. Not to babysit through the night, yeah. That's only with the little toddler, no by the way. Sleepovers. He's only just started walking. So anyway. He's very clingy as well at the moment. So, mummy, so... All I was going to say, apart from when we were talking about that being knackered, was that since last Friday, I mentioned to you about my video views have been going down. I don't know what YouTube's up to. I ain't got a clue what they're doing. I'm still doing the same stuff. And it looks like that... In the analytics, or, or, or let's say, for example, when I upload a video, within sort of an hour, I'm getting like a thousand views now. Before it used to be two, three, four hundred. So I seem to be getting more views on one end in the videos I put up, and overall, uh, a, a period of whatever, they're saying that my viewings are going down. I don't understand it. And just to enlighten you, from last week's videos, to this week's videos, although it seems individually the, the views are coming in, but overall, our our weekly viewing videos for the whole channel has gone down again. So, less people are watching, it seems. I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand it. So, sharing would be nice, as we mentioned here before, but uh, I don't know whether it's a peak. I do remember this happening, it might have been last year or the year before, I'm not too sure, where for a certain part of the year, for a couple of months or so, everything sort of took a dive. It did that last year. I don't know whether it's something they do, because other people, I've done checks on other people with similar channels, and they're going up. So I don't know, honestly don't know. Can't work it out. And don't forget to subscribe. So and a lot of people say... you subscribe, don't they get notification when you A lot of people them. have said, Chad, said, because I said that we were, you know, didn't know whether to carry on or whatever, but it's just a blip, I think. I do think it is just a blip. I hope so anyway. All I can do is just carry on doing what I we're doing. I think they test you. I feel like we're being tested, and it's a shame because we put a lot of work into our YouTube channel, as you probably know. And me, I actually hate being this side of the camera. Yeah, but she does it for our public. Cause I do it for. They say, "Oh, where's Sharon? Like where's Jimmy? Me. Where's little oh, Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy's a little rotter. He so, treats his home like a hotel. Doesn't for me to put Jimmy. up a video, for me to put up a video, you people don't realise that you have to like plan what you're going to try and achieve Ooh. in the video. You've got to have some sort of flow so you get a start, middle and end of, you know, start, beginning, middle and end to your like video. Like all good stories. Like a story, that's right, you've got to tell a story. It's got to be understandable. 
you've got to have at least know what you're talking about to a certain extent but don't forget this most of my videos ain't really how to I do do how to videos but most of my videos are as I'm doing something and there's obviously different ways to do things uh, I just done the Reliant Regal video uh, during the week and I did mention that when you're measuring the gaps between the piston rings you, you know you've got to put it down about an inch in the bore and you can there's different ways to do that you can have a special tool to do it actually and I'll just use the socket just as a, a way because a lot of people haven't got any tools you can just turn the piston round and put that in there I forgot about that I've oh, done it before wind. but you know it's not that I do it that way it's just that I forgot and those things happen I do forget as well sometimes and I do say the wrong thing someone said I mentioned it was a tolerance fit when I put the gudgeon pin in and they said no it's not a tolerance fit it's an interference fit or something like that I can't remember what they said that. yeah I know that I'll get it wrong now and again, but you know what I mean. He's those people, boy. those people in the know, know what I mean. And they're, they're, as I say, that, them sort of videos are not how-to videos. It's just showing you oh, I've got over a problem. I haven't got all the tools, specialist tools, but I make do with what I can. Sometimes I have to get over stuff like when I put the pistons back into the barrel, you have to compress the piston rings in, on the piston, and that's a very tricky thing to do unless you've got the proper clamp that goes around it, and then you can clamp it around the piston and the rings. It closes the rings up. Put it over the top of the board and then tap the piston in and it goes in. Well, I didn't have one of them at all, so I used a, a big Jubilee clip. Done exactly the same job as I showed you earlier on. I've shown that earlier on, shall Well done. Shall we do retro restores? Uh... Shout. Out. Sunday. Right, who have we got, baby? I can't bother fit this. Come <laughs> on. Show them. Scott Show. from Scotland. No, do it properly, baby. Don't. That willy pulley. I can't be bothered to move, I'm so cold. Oh, can't be that cold, Sharon, come I'm on. I'm cold and I'm really, really tired. Why can't you read about it? And I go, hello. Go on in. Scott from Scotland, Grassy Gamer. Oh, Grassy Gamer. Gamer? That's his YouTube channel. That's not his second name, Sharon. Well, I hope not, anyway. Yeah, why can't it be his second name? Hiya, Scott, nice to see you. Oh, say by the bell. We'll have a look at it in a minute, go on. That's my friend. Joe Willis. Joe Willis. Are you Joe? Then we've got Chris Campbell. Chris Campbell, I don't, I don't remember writing that one down. What's, What's your bloody writing? Oh, sorry for the V word. That's where she Oh yeah, Chris Campbell. Oh, it's different now he's seen it. Well, because yeah. I remember writing now, yeah. didn't I? Go on in, baby. Chris Scottish Prepper Variety Channel. You know Chris Scottish Prepper. He no. uh, he subscribed he, long, long time ago. He had a lot of uh, illnesses which he's uh, overcome now. And he said, we, we watching our channel, he's given the inspiration to do his own channel. He started his own channel up now. Oh, well done. I'm he's, glad you're feeling He had a better. lot of, uh, yeah, well, he's, he's getting through it. Does bell? Yeah. He's got his pretty, he sent us some stuff once. I can't was remember it from it the dog? No, he's from Scotland. What did he send us that? He from might the have dog? done, he might have sent us some for bones or something for Barney or something a long time ago, yeah. Might have done, yeah. I forget. Go on in, baby. Kelvin Warner's wife, Michelle, well and daughter done. Jenny from. Is that Shipdam? Shipdam. 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 Oh, Shipdam. Yeah, Shipdam. Kelvin. I, I thought she was going to say Kevin there because she was gonna, couldn't understand right. I remember right. Kelvin. See, I know that. that yeah, Kelvin. So years wife, and years ago. Wife Michelle. Kelvin Carpenter. Oh, never no, Sender's name. Michelle, yeah. <laughs> and daughter Jenny. Little Jenny. I don't know how old you are, Jenny, but... We haven't got a Jenny. Oh, Dad's Sanders. showing you our video and you're, you're... Oh, hello. We're not in the centre of London. That's not Big Ben. I don't know if you can hear well, that. Don't that. Go at the moment, though, does it? I don't know, they're changing something in it. My dad used to work in the Houses of Parliament many years ago. You can't say what he done. Eh? You can't say what he done. He was done. his custodian. What did he do though? He's under the official secret What act. did he actually do? What do you mean what did he do? On the front. I can't say that, Shanna. No. But he's actually been up, Big Ben, and he said they Lovely used to Lovely man. They used to um the, to get the time going, keep it constant, they used to have big old brass are they brass pennies, the old pennies, the old type pennies. And they used to weight them with the old pennies many years ago. He said he's been right up there. And he walk, used to walk around the uh, Houses of Parliament at night and he said, uh, you wouldn't believe uh, the little co how many people you see walking about there, MPs and all that, uh, when there's a late chamber and all that. I can't go into all that stuff anyway. But yeah, he did uh, He did used to go uh, work there many years ago. That was back in the 70s, that was. Things have probably changed now, I would imagine. But... Uh, yeah. Cool. Can you imagine the security now? To cool. what yeah, it was yeah. security cameras on. Mm. Well, no, again, no, I don't know whether it would be security cameras. No, because I, I mean, the whole would... security thing then yeah. to now, my God. Well, he used to have to wear a lot of police uniform when he used to work there, and he used to do a night shift there. 
but he used to go to work to the Houses of Parliament on a little Honda 90, little uh, C90 Honda. It's only like a little step through scooter back in the 70s sort of thing. And uh, he used to wear this white helmet, like a leather covered helmet. And the amount of people used to think he was a police officer driving along and slow down or sort of look a bit wary when he used to see him. But they didn't realise he's on a Honda 90. But anyway, it was a police uniform looking thing. Anyway, anyway that's another story. So yeah, that's that. And our final one today, Sharon? James Dunkley, or I don't know the boy's name. Thierry. After the, Thierry Henry, no doubt. Ethan, I don't know no football. I know it's a footballer. Well, you knew it was a footballer. Yeah, but I wouldn't know how to say That's it. Thierry like, and uh, Ethan. Hiya, Thierry I'll and Ethan. It. He's named after the footballer then. Who? James Dunkley. Thierry. Thierry, I'm yeah, not... Thierry Henry. Well, I've never heard that name. He used to play before. for Arsenal, if I remember rightly, and I think he was the. Um, was it. Oh, who did England play in the World Cup? Or was it England? And they, he was on the. No, Port, was it Portugal's? I think he was Portugal's uh, manager or coach or something, if I remember rightly, Tierra. Because I remember he, they played France. Or some. So who played France? And he, Bulgaria, Mark? Was it Bulgaria? Oh, I don't know, I don't watch that. Anyway, rubbish. he was in the World Cup, but he was on the on the uh, uh, t- uh, he was on the bench, not on the bench, on the uh, on the coaching team of the op- of the opposition. Anyway, it's very short list. And there you go. That's our shout out Sunday. Don't forget, as I say, check out my other. Well, people have been checking out show Retro Hacks channel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, not many shares. Well, no shares actually, though. Oh, for God, don't no, want so- the t-shirt. Sorry, baby. I think there's been a couple of shares. That's where the couple of shares have come from. I know Pete Froud's done a share, and I know there's other couple of people on the uh, Facebook as well who shared the video. Can't quite remember who, but uh, you're going to need to get this sorted out, baby. I'm surprised at my man. Don't know what to say, Shao. Shao, he don't like us. He's done himself for a t-shirt. I know Dennis does. He's old man. Hey. But does, does he? Does he like and share? No, Dennis is. He don't go computers. Oh, do they? No, no. Pulls on computers. Well, he should be doing it if his dad says dad could win the t shirt. Hey? He should be sharing them for his dad so he his should dad do, could yeah. win the t shirt. Yeah, I know. Free anyway. t shirt? What more could you want out of life? I'd like a cup of tea, baby. No, we're going home because I want to make my dinner. So, anyway, that's our little shout out Sunday. If you've enjoyed it, it's not been uh, very inventive today. Should not, have brought me dinner here. Not inventive. What's the word, baby? It's not been creative. very creative today, unfortunately, but. Uh, our videos will be more creative, as you know. We've got. We're, I'm pushing ahead with a trotter video, uh, trot trotter van now, How's as you know. Trotter mower. Hey. Eh? Well, we we you, the... you mow it makes sense. I was so uh, clever. Yeah, yeah but I, 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 I lent me little cooking stove out to our daughter's husband, didn't you I? He went away now. for free. I got it back now, yeah, because I need the little stove to heat up the chemicals to uh, tin the stuff I want to tin, and I couldn't do that. Well, I could have done. Could, I could have got over. Excuse me, what on the mower? On the brackets, the wheel brackets, and stuff oh. like that. So don't forget if you're interested. What are you going to do with that, Mama? I don't know yet. People keep asking me. I don't know. Not sure. I don't know whether to keep it. Oh, and then one. if we go to a show or whatever. You can make another one. Yeah, I know that. Well, I could sell that one. I, I don't know, Shell. <laughs> I don't know, baby. I don't know. Someone did mention you could do theme mowers. I could do theme mowers. I don't know. Again, it's a time thing at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Though. I want to clear up my projects. That's the oh, thing that I've like told you loads to. of times. I want the trotter van done, I want the triumph for claim done, I want the transit van done, I want them three things done, then I can make a decision on what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. You get rid of the van, and she don't want the van. you get rid of the triumph. See, I'm, I'm, I quite like the idea of having the triumph for claims around. No, the trotter van, so no. Yeah, well, you say that, I might get rid of it. No, see, the one thing I wanted to keep, he's thinking of getting rid I'm of it. I'm joking, baby. You want to be. Look, slap him. That's what James does. Yeah, he done it on my head when I'm trying to... Yeah. Because he wants a kiss. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Alright, thanks very much for watching, people. Don't forget, keep on, uh, 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 keep on, keep on moving, keep on grooving. Keep on sharing. I like doing it. She hates it when I do that. Don't you, baby? She's had her hair done, so have I, look, as you know. We change, we change our hair cut, get a nice hair cut, and then the weather turns. How about that? Mm. That's about right, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, people. Hope you've enjoyed your shout out Sunday and a little uh, look around the uh, the log cabin. Don't forget, I will hopefully be uploading another restoration video this week onto the other channel. And a lot of you saying we like it, but we prefer you talking. Yeah, I know that. that that's for this oh, channel. I don't even prefer the silence. Oh, 
Well, I do. Well, I'll give out some little handy tips sometimes, Sharon. Oh, I prefer the silence. Yeah, well, you can watch the other channel then, Retro Hacks, can't you? I'll watch everything. Well, I would have watched Mower Man if you shared, but I won't. <laughs> See you later, folks. Bye. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, can't I bother to get up, baby? I have a feeling. I'll go and make dinner there. What have you got to do? The meat's in a slow cooker. I've got to put well, potatoes got to do that, on the veg. Oh, I'll do the fish for you, baby. No, you're all right. We have a nice hot bath tonight, I think. Yeah. I am. I'm a bit cold. I suppose it's because we've had it so hot, isn't it? Your resistance is low. Uh, well, I'm tired as I well. I can't get up and turn the camera off. If you're still here, We've got some lovely blackberry bushes out the front of our house now. Oh yeah, I made rhubarb and blackberry crumbs. She pulled up, she, she's got some rhubarb. And we've got rhubarb. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll pick the last of our rhubarb now. So we've got rhubarb crumble. It's not really ketogenic, I know, but... We've had the... What did we have yesterday? Yeah, we've had the weekend off. Yeah, you can do that every now and again. Just don't eat, just don't eat too many carbs, refined carbs. I lost a bit of weight as well, my baby. Mm. Anyway. I know by my clothes I've lost a little bit, but that's fine. I don't mind losing a little bit at a time. Yeah. And what is it down to? Low carb. If you don't do full ketogenic diet, which is no carbs or 20 to 30 gram a day, which is very, very low, well, virtually no carbs. In fact, that's probably the grams, you, the carbs you get out of just eating green veg. The beef. Just cut out the refined the carbs. Anything processed, anything in a packet, out it. Ain't that right, baby? Could you buy it in a packet? And that ketogenic bread we made, if you've not checked out on our YouTube channel, Retro Hacks, I keep mentioning that. I've got to share that to where, my arms. Where we've done, eh? I've got to share that to my arms. Where we've got the, we've done that ketogenic bread. Oh, we do miss eating bread. We do love bread. We've been brought up with bread, as you know. Crusty bread. But you can't right. eat bread. But if you eat this ketogenic bread, which we make, you can make it in a minute and a half, isn't it? 90 seconds it takes to cook, so... In the microwave, with made from um, almonds. That's enough for one person. Made from ground almonds. But you can do it for two. Uh, the one I'll show on, the, on the, our other channel is for two people, isn't it? Yeah, three minutes. But if you do miss eating bread, then you can have that. And the ketogenic diet is not the sort of diet you can jump in and out and say, oh, this, this week, oh, no, well, I'm going to eat carbs today. Or not. Not. You've got to stick to it. And the great yeah, thing about like it is, it. is that when you do stick to it, you don't crave foods anymore. Although you you know you miss certain foods, but you don't crave them because you can actually eat all the food. Do you know what we normally have for pudding every night on this diet is je je jelly, sugar-free jelly, and double cream. Double cream on the top up. in a trifle, like, but in a in a. How about your child of jelly and cream? Yeah, but you actually look forward to it. We should do a video on that. We should do a meal, ketogenic meal, baby. Oh, which I did plan to. I've created a channel, this oh, channel. Sorry in that for the, for the meals that we do eat on the ketogenic diet but now and again as I say we do have a little cheat you can do it and you've got to use that as a after treat after a few minutes go and say don't cheat no well I don't mean every day that's the trouble most people now are so used to eating processed foods I mean you remember when we was a kid we used to eat bleating I did not my mum I'm just about to tell you you never I, I didn't say used to it we, we, we had a bag of sweets once a week Mum, I've never entered McDonald's. My no, but they didn't, they didn't do it back then, did they? We had a wimpy back then, but even then you never... She wouldn't even go in them places. Yeah, but you never went in them places on a weekly thing or a daily thing. I think the first burger I tried was in a tin. Goblin, they were called. Oh, right. We've well, done that. We've done that. I've had them. And my mum done them, them. And we never had them again. I ate them. Horrible. Tin burgers. That was about the only processed thing I think we ever had. But if not, it was proper home-cooked meals. Yeah. Anyway, old school. Let's go, baby. You make me hungry now. See you later, folks. If you're still here, you're brave people because we should have ended five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes ago. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you for coming, Cheryl. Yeah, my Oi. pleasure. All the best. One, two, three, four. Do it properly. You broke me nail. Well, oh, you yeah. should have bleeding done it. Look, two, three, four. And then slide. See you later. Now I'm getting up. Thank you.